Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another edition of the Gentleman's Corner. And tonight I have a uh, very special guest, Mr. Biblical Reaper. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. So, I I found your channel out of a def desperate attempt to try and find hardcore gameplay because it's there are few and far between videos that you'll find outside of people trolling other people where it's actually really good hardcore gameplay. <laughs> And um, I'm, I'm glad I found you, and we've you know had the ability to kind of interact on Twitter and YouTube a little bit. And your your channel is doing really well. Uh, you know, it's growing really quick. And um, I, I just appreciate the the content that you put out there. Uh, but I do have a question that I want to kind of start out with, which is, who or what inspired you to YouTube, and why? Wow. So okay, this is the deal. This is how this goes down. I. Uh... For like it, you know, I play Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2, and uh, you know, I was starting off and I would constantly get rocked. I was a terrible player. I was the guy that was on the bottom of the leaderboards. I was two and thirty. I was two and forty-five. You know, I was terrible. And so, one of my buddies is like, "Go on YouTube. You know, watch some videos. It'll help you out." That's what he did. So, I started doing that. The first video I ever watched was by uh, Jive Turkey, and you know he didn't really give you too many tips and tricks, but I found his videos very, very uh, entertaining, if you will. And I thought it was like, I'm like, you know, sitting here, and after a couple months went by, and you know, I watched people like Woody's Gamer Tag and Wings of Redemption, and you know, the more I watched it, the more I wanted to do it, if you know what I mean. Sure. But I think ultimately. It was Jive Turkey that, you know, inspired me. In fact, my first video that I ever did on my channel was from, was a tribute to Jive Turkey and, you know, telling him thank you for his, you know, content. Because in the YouTube world, a lot of people don't get thanked for their content. There's a lot of hate out there, you know, and I feel that, you know, whether you put on a good show or a bad show, I think it, it takes a lot of time and effort, you know, I, when I work my job and I, you know, have a family and all this stuff. It's so hard to balance my time management to do this. And I just appreciate when people do the little extra touches in their videos. And that's basically my story of how I started, you know. Sure. What's funny is you're the second person who said that they started because of Jive Turkey. Um, one of the first Gentleman's Corner I did, they, they said the same thing. I had never heard of them up until that point. But I've, I've been subscribed ever since then. That was a few months ago. Um, now, so the whole thing about drama or youtube or slash twitter drama do you do you think that's on purpose for a lot of people you know the the whole you catch more flies with honey thing doesn't really work it seems like in the youtube or <laughs> or twitter community it's usually opposite it's usually the opposite the vinegar that attracts do you, i mean do you think there's a particular reason why that's the case let's face it let's look at tv in general not youtube but tv in general cable tv 90% of successful shows right now are based on drama shows, you know, housewives or whatever, <laughs> you know, I don't even know the names of the, I don't watch TV hardly ever. I think right. I watch like The Walking Dead and maybe, uh, you know, a couple other shows, but nothing, nothing crazy. I'm not a big TV junkie, but I do know that 90% of the shows out right now are successful based on people want to know what's going on in other people's lives. They find drama amusing and very entertaining now when you say that you know you that the in the youtube world that you know the honey doesn't attract the bees or whatever is that is that what you said well that, it's n not always it, it the you know you catch more flies with honey versus with vinegar or whatever uh, oh. there are people who are good people who are nice people that that have a big following but it seems like what gets the most attention are those you know are the is that beef or that rivalry between people Right. So this is the thing with that. Okay. So yeah, that's very popular, but my whole take on it right now is that, you know, I try to stay away from it as much as possible. I don't think I've been in too much of an altercation with anybody. And, you know, I try to stay, you know, friends with as many people as I can in the YouTube scene, but, uh, I'm looking to change that. I'm going to be the guy that, you know, not to sound cocky or, this is just my take on it, right? So I, I feel that there's not enough of, you know, the good, the chivalry inside right. of, you know what I mean? So 
I want to take that and I want to blow that up to the extreme. I want to change the whole attitude of the scene, if you will. I, I, I've had some haters come up on my videos and my Yash Reloaded videos. And, you know, it's real funny that you, you asked that because last week I had, or the week before maybe, I had posted a video on the Yash main channel and I got some hate. You know, that's a pretty rough channel to upload to. Everybody knows that. And, uh, but this one guy was just, you know, very critical and very harsh towards, you know, I try to keep my videos clean, but you know, he was pretty harsh. And I said to him, I'm like, you know, I'm sorry you didn't like it, but uh, thanks for checking it out anyway. Now this dude has commented, liked, and hit me up on Twitter after every single video I post. He is one of my most engaged fans, according to the YouTube platform now that you can go check. Right. So, you know, I took somebody that hated me or hated my content, and now he's one of my biggest, you know, supporters. Sure. So in life, you know... I think there's enough hate in the world. I don't come home to listen to hate. I, uh, that's just who I am. It's too draining. Yeah. yeah. Now, so um, it's funny the whole the whole gentleman's corner thing. The people that I've had on have all been positive people, like YouTubers who, for the most part, have ha have had positive messages or, or who are upbeat or positive. And that's that's the whole gentleman thing. That's what I've what I've tried to do. Um, so I, I commend you on, on the task you've taken at hand to try and clean up YouTube and Twitter, so to speak. <laughs> uh, I, I do have a question about your 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 gamer tag you're using using a biblical reaper. How did you come about that? To be honest, I just you know it's nothing religious or anything of the sort. It's not slander or you know people have asked me if it. I actually got a comment from somebody reciting a Bible verse, and uh, <laughs> you know it, in the. In my opinion, in the YouTube world, I don't, it's kind of like when you're at work, right? So if, yes, this is a free platform, but there's consequences to every action. Right. So, you know, I haven't stated my personal beliefs or because I, I don't think I'm here for that. I'm here for gaming. You know what sure, I mean? Sure, sure. My, my channel is not going to be based on, you know, religious beliefs or, you know, there's a lot of people like Jesus Freak. I don't know if you've ever heard of him, but, yeah. uh you know disciple godly disciple and judgment awaits those guys are all you know all that's you know they base their stuff on that and i love those guys to death but uh back to the gamer tag before i get off track <laughs> it, it was just you know i just wanted something epic sounding you know everything i do i try to make it the best to my abilities and i i'm like sitting there thinking one night trying to come up with it. my original gamer tag was smooth wool and that was <laughs> then I hurry up and change that real quick but uh, yeah I came up with Biblical Reaper that's good that's good uh, how did you get connected with Justice okay so uh, you know I when I first started YouTube uh, you know I'm a pretty good player I'm not like a pro player or anything but you know I, I'm a decent player and uh, I had seen like TK start up and I had posted their promo on my channel and you know, uh, Justice came around. I posted that on there because I had been partnered with Yaush. After my first month on YouTube, I actually got a partnership, which is pretty hard to come by. Sure. Uh, I just got connected through somebody. Fate connected me to the Big Snacks. He seen my work and got me a partnership. But uh, so, you know, I talked to some of those guys and I followed Doom Killer on uh, Twitter and he kept talking about Justice, Justice. I'm like, dude, I can get hundred pluses. I can get, you know, nuclears. So I went ahead and made a gameplay and sent it to him. And that's, how, that's where we're at with it. And that's like the, the judges division. Is that like the, your, the pub stomper division? Is that what that is? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's like the high game plays or KEM strikes and etc. Okay. Where do you, um, where do you see your channel in the next, uh, let's say in the next year, where do you want your channel to be? By the end of next year, I want to be at 100,000 subscribers. I, th I think you can do it. I, I, I honestly do. I think you're a pretty smooth talker, a great commentator, and you put out great content. So I don't think you I don't think you can fail that. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. It's a very hard, it's a very large goal. It takes, you know, it, a lot of people, when they start YouTube, they, they have this thing that, you know, it's going to happen overnight. And, you know, I've made big strides to make things happen. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting somewhere, but... 
me personally, I'm the type of guy I am with no matter what, if, if it's real life or if it's YouTube, I always try for the best I can do in anything I do do, if that right. makes sense. No, absolutely. But, I mean, if, if you're not aiming for the sky, you're not aiming high. Right. Like, you know, it sits in the back of my mind all day. I'm like, I, what, do I, what do I got to do to do this? And to be honest, it's all about networking, you know, making friends. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So um, our time is running down here. Is there is there anything else that you want to say uh, before we, we end off or we leave off here? Um, pretty much not really. I, I, I appreciate you having me on here. And I, obviously, um, I'll send some of my subscribers over here to check your channel out. I appreciate, you know, the time and effort that you put into your stuff. And uh, if you guys haven't seen me before, go ahead and head over to my channel. I appreciate it. And if you do like it, stay around. And that's one big thing, too, I want to mention is that I don't want anybody to ever subscribe to my channel. If you, if there's not a video you like, that's fine. But uh, don't just subscribe to subscribe. I like to talk to my people. If you right. Know. Yeah, having those active connections. Right, right. I'd rather have 100 subscribers that all watch my video than a million that when 100 of them only watch it. You know what I mean? Right, right. All right, well, I, I want to thank you for taking your the time out of your day. I know you're busy. You had a lot of things you're doing. Uh, I'll put a link in your channel to the description below. And uh, the gameplay that you're watching in the background is uh, Biblical Reapers. Uh, check him out. Again, uh, I'm glad I found him, and you will be too. Um, and have a good night. You too, brother. All right, peace out.